Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you are first able to watch this as it is uploaded, it will be Memorial Day weekend 2019. It will be a weekend where the citizens of the United States will gather around their grills for, for a hearty hamburger and hot dog, perhaps a steak. They'll consume cold beverages and visit with family and friends. Perhaps later turning on the Indianapolis 500 or the Talladega 600 or whatever motorsport venue that, you know, happens to catch their fancy that day. And why are they doing this? Well, it's in part to memorialize those who have given up everything so that we can spend an afternoon having a hamburger and watching cars drive around in circles. We have the freedom to do that. We can only do that because men and women have laid down their lives driving machines like this or marching through the mud of the battlefield, through snow and ice, through raging heat, to make sure that we are not victims of oppression. And you know, that's been said so much that I, I don't know if people really gather how true it is. I, I don't know if people believe it anymore. It seems so impossible that the freedoms that we take for granted could ever be in danger. But they are constantly in danger and we are constantly protected by brave men and women, many of whom give their entire lives. Everything, every hope and every dream and every wonderful moment that they could have had is just laid down on the battlefield so that we can have our wonderful moments, so that we can have that hamburger, so that we can watch that race. So if you do happen to be a citizen of the United States of America, this weekend, do take some time to remember the extreme valor, the extreme courage, and the extreme ultimate sacrifice that so many thousands of men and women have had to make so that you and I can enjoy the lifestyle that we do. And then, be sure to enjoy that lifestyle this week. It's also important that you do have some fun today, because you know what? If we made this an entirely dour holiday, just to remember, just the sacrifices, you know what would happen? It'd be too much, really, to take on, and people would just forget. It's easier just to forget. But if we can remember what the gift is, and celebrate the gift of freedom. That we can do a great many silly things, really, like driving around in circles. That's going to make sure that we remember what, you know, the sacrifice was. You can't forget the sacrifice. And the gift that we have been given will make sure that we don't. And that note, there's a, that's enough heaviness for this video. I, I decide that I have to have at least two videos two racing videos for this weekend at no point will you see this car raced not in this video no we're not that's not this weekend but yeah let's get right to it on with the racing that's where it looks green and there it's boring but there's definitely yeah I like green just that's odd reflecting off the water okay Just out here a little bit looking for a race to zip away from a, an oppressor mark deuce. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of racing drama. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's let's take one of these, it's close. I'm not really into the whole transform thing, but we'll give it a shot. Much prefer the standard stunts, but at least I've teleported my way out of the session so that no one's just going to blow me up. I wonder if that means the the yachta disappears. All right. Okay, a ton of supercar. Buckle up, point and transfer. Also, the mallard and the bestra, but you know, those things don't have any. I don't know, the bestra might. No, maybe I don't think it does have upgrades. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight doing a little bit of racing here. I'm not the host. We got 
maybe four people involved. Actual man who may or may not know what he's getting into, depending if that's his main character. What should we use? Customs are on. Hmm. It seems like we got two low level guys, one high level guy. What do we unleash on them? Maybe we should use the, the you know, the, the Turismo R just for the change of pace. I mean, I'm not overly concerned about winning. This is a transform race, too. I mean, we could really do some crushing things in the, uh, in the, dev you know, the Devastate. Do that. But, you know, change of pace things. I haven't used the FMJ in a while. All kinds of different options. Let's, I feel like that's that's a thing. I just, I feel like I'm in a Turismo R kind of mood. And I, I don't even really know the car that well, but, you know. Well, I don't know what that means. It's for going right in. They were waiting on me. I guess I'm using a custom, but it's an old school custom. I mean, you know. If I'm going up against a whole bunch of Devastates and Wagners, well then, hey, you know, it's probably not going to go well, but we'll see how it goes. It is good looking. It's a good looking I don't even know if this is fully upgraded. Nero. G. Is that a GP1? There's a Devastate, but he doesn't know how to do the turbo launch. But he does know how to curb boost. Well, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Rocking the whole mallard into first. Do we even have a custom mallard? I don't think so. I don't think we have a good deal. Whoa. It'll be that way. Come on. Okay, we're diving now for the car. And... I don't think he did himself any favors. Nope. That was the thing. He, had, he, he completely upset himself. Whoa, he teleported. Whoa, what was that? The train! Oh dear! What? He just teleported and... I think, you know, I think that was what they call a demon drag. Where basically, you know, the lag... The computer calculated him to be in a dip... <laughs> okay, I think... I think that counts as a choke of a... Something. Alright, Bestra. Uh, cho I don't know, what are they doing? How often are they doing it? Once a year now, the choke of the week podcast. Choking Hazard podcast. Choke of the something. How am I in third? Oh, that's just... It's a hostile group. I'm kind of, on the one hand, wishing I'd actually taken the, uh, the Devastate. Well, I mean, this... I am, I am closing on these guys here. Let's see. Woo. Look at him float. Second place. First is way off, but we can wind this puppy up. Oh, there we are. We're closing. I don't know how we're closing. Maybe ketchup is on. That's a, that's a thing. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Going old school here. A little bit of unintentional curve boosting. Wow, that's great visuals. Bye! Okay, odds are this guy's going to try and wreck me here. He's going to get all nice and cute. Because I've got the, the, the catch up slowdown going. Come on. Come on. 
come on, surely we can we can race side by side here. Oh, I need that. No. Great. All right, it was just about there, somewhere in there that I had to turn off my mic. I think I had to pause quickly because ambient noise in the background. So now I'm recording again, chasing the cloud. Why does it do that? The transform cloud. You know. It's usually just wrapped around whoever is driving or flying or doing whatever, but that's not what's happening there. It's, see, that just goes on off into space. Whereas right now, the person who made the cloud just made a left turn and it's just going off. Woo! The magic flying cloud. Alright, Turismar, what can you do for me here? It really did quite well. I mean, this this was... I didn't expect this to be a competitive car. I just wanted to drive a Turismo R for whatever reason. It's cool. Back in our best. We're trying to overhaul them. Bring them on in. Flying through a tube. There he is. No, I think catch-up's working in my favor. Not so much the mustard, but definitely the catch-up. Light it down a little bit. There he is. Come on! Speed! Oh dear. Well, isn't that too bad? Bye bye, Bernie. And sweet, sweet vengeance and vindication is mine! And the win, which is the main thing. Loading. 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 <laughs> Wee! Hey, you know, if you're gonna lose, you may as well have fun, right? What the heck? Woo! If he's taking the GP1, he's probably just doing the same thing I was doing, just trying to fool around a bit. It's a beautiful car, and I might eventually get one, but I mean, it's just not... Not speedy. That should really be in the sports classics, I think. It might be dominant in the sports classics, but that's how it should be. I mean, that was a monumental car in real life. And there you have it. The guy, the guy who he didn't even stay for his cash. That's wild. That's that's a thing. Okay, here I went to loop again because I think that might have my best chance for being the race that's on the street. I don't know if that's the case or not, but you know, we're going to give it a shot. I was hoping to get people. There's not a lot of people racing me right now. It needs the people. Let's do the time warp again. Ooh, there's a sale on vehicle cargo warehouses. Woohoo! And here it is, just me and Ghost fans hanging out, trench four. Oh yeah, I think I paused it to do the time warp again and did the really long time warp again. Which I guess is okay, it's, it's efficient, you know, it's, it's an efficient mistake. I don't know. I'm looking at this now. I've got the race recorded. And Ghost Fins and I, you know, well, I, I got a lead on him. And it's this is mostly just me driving through Trench Horror. I'm not sure. Is it is it compelling? 
I mean, here I am in, in my pajamas doing my Jeremy Clarkson pajamas impression here, basically. Hat is staying on, probably, I'm guessing, by bobby pins? Do you think this is done by bobby pins or magic here in the GTA universe? I'm not staying on normally in this situation. Using the slugging GT here just for the noise. Love that engine note. Slogging. Well, there's some pretty compelling cinema here. There's some cinema. Which is almost as good as cinnamon. But don't take the cinnamon challenge. A little bit of technique there. And back around again. It's pretty much now just what you saw a couple more times. So let's. Oh, I did do something a little different this time, just to see if it was better. I went. I went the lower. Route. You'll see what I mean in a second. We took the current a little bit better here. Just knife edged the whole thing. Except for this thing. Oh, well, that was a different knife edge. And this time, instead of going over the top, I went through the lower, narrow bit. Which is riskier, and I don't think it saves you that much, because you can pick up a little bit more speed going over the top, going down harder. You can only pick up some speed when you're going down hard, never mind. Uh, here we are, we're just going to get back to the water zone here. Ghost fans had an issue. Probably clipped a wing. I guess that happens. I've, I've done that. Yeah, let's do the time warp again. More of that creamy engine note. Like a bear gargling with honey. I bought this car for the Clarkson memes, but I kept it for the engine note. And... Rockets! You know, that's interesting. I never noticed it before. The transform color seemed there to be based on the car that you had ahead of, of time. So, like, the green bubbles away and you got what's underneath. I always thought it was the color of the car that you had next. And that's, the one. that's an interesting... Well, I don't know if it's an interesting point or not. Maybe it's an obvious point that everyone else has gotten before. Here, I'm trying to stay as high as possible because these planes will, you know, theoretically go faster at higher altitude. Now, I don't know if it's a threshold kind of thing. I mean, I think it might be. Or if you're just above a certain point, it goes faster. So it may not matter here. I don't know if it's a linear progression as you go further and further up in the atmosphere. But certainly, you know, cruising over the top of everything, just flipping the top of things, does avoid crashing into stuff. Over. Here we're going under. E. And over the top. I'm not trying to sneak it through there. It's much safer here. Dive down. Well, I did come pretty close there, so I guess it's a. Uh, I guess it's a little bit of danger either way, isn't it? No, that's it. All right, we're almost done here. We've, we've clipped the time off this. I guess we can go back into. Bedtime Clarkson mode here. I wonder, you know, has, has Jeremy Clarkson ever been in a Mustang? I mean, not like a, a Ford Mustang, but a P51. Because if that's the case, 
So this is like an entirely Clarkson-esque uh, run here, because they have the, the Schlagen GT, which you, there are several clips of him driving in the AMG Black, and different variants. For a minute there, it had the sound of the Voltic, and then it switched over. That was interesting. He's, I don't think he's ever been in a rocket car, although Richard Hammond famously has, and thankfully survived. It's very top gear. Whole thing. Go Ghost fan. And yeah, after this, I did take off to get the kids to bed. But don't worry, because we're not done here yet. Because there's there's more to come. More to come in this edition, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, how do we do? I'm guessing, yeah, best lap by a mile, but we're... I was on... He, he had a couple issues. I mean, you clip a wing, you're done for the most part. I'm on. So now we pick up the action Sunday morning where I was wondering if anyone would be racing and it's looking like not a lot of people. Hmm. Yeah, that's one of the, one of the problems. You want to do racing. Racing is basically one of the main things I like to do in this game and you, you hardly get to do it very much. There's, unless it's double money, it's hard to find a, a lobby. Alright, we got four people. What the heck would Devil Bleach be? I don't even know what... Well, I guess there's four of us. The racing Alley. Customs are on. You know what? I think I'm going to take the Omnis out, just for the heck of it. Just for the pure enjoyment of the driving. Now that was a that was a good choice the last time, but let's Yeah, there we go. Get back to our free mode look. Confirm. Who we got here? Okay, he's never raced before. At least unless this is a backup character. No, even the backup character, that would show you. So we've got someone who's never raced, never won, he's only six races. Five races. These are, yeah, we do not have a lot of experienced racers going on here. Uh, you know, I've lost 800 of them, but I have got more wins than Richard Petty at this point, at least in national races. So he might have had more wins overall, total, all the different things he raced. But I never noticed it, it had uh, a little black net on the front of this thing. That's interesting. A little mini license plate. Whee! I'm glad I didn't pick the Pariah. That would have been just cruelty. Of course, the Pariah on this track does have its issues. Because you can over you can over uh, shoot jumps up with that thing. It goes too fast. But if you control it where you know you have to control it, then it's fine. Whee! I mean, this is a good car, but shouldn't be blowing their doors up that hard, I don't think. I'm not doing anything that fancy here. Whee! You think they're all running unmodified stuff? I mean, should I have gone stock for more fairness? I mean, I figured I wasn't taking, you know, one of the... I think in a rally car, they're pretty pretty far down the pack as far as total speed is concerned. The go with this and they'll think, oh my goodness, the Omnis must be the fastest car there is. 
It is pleasant. It's pleasant to drive. But this will not be my fastest lap to ride. That's not going to happen. Not gonna happen. I, I'm not pulling the top speeds that I normally pull with the other cars. No question about it. Whee! How far back are we? Got anybody coming? Whee! Okay, that's not too bad. I thought about going off to the side. There is that speed trip. You know, just to go around that and just drop down and not take the jump. But... Da -da -da -da. Can we make the flip? I don't know if we can make the flip. Yes, we can make the flip. Woo! Extra 25 herps. I started to flip kind of late, so I wasn't sure if I was going to pull that one off. Well, I mean, I guess you could just take wins where you get them, right? I mean, first of all, I could absolutely choke this. I mean, anything can happen. I have choke ability. Choke ability. I understand if I'm if I'm racing uh, unmodded cars or something like that. Maybe. I'm probably just going to continue with this session for the next video. Maybe what I'll do is for all those, I'll, I'll not use a custom vehicle. I'll use something else. It's going to be. It's going to depend. Depend on the track. Is there a car that I haven't, I have I don't get to drive, you know? Masakra or something like that. Well, you never know. You come to the next race and there's 30 people. Oh, and you could bring your A-game. Probably could have backflipped that. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Yeah. Wiggle, a little bit of a wiggle on there. Ooh. Chris, someone might have tried to stunt that out and it didn't work out for them. Oh, it's a three-lapper. That's that's interesting. Three laps. Wait a minute. Hold it. Nobody said anything about three laps. I was actually gonna try and stop a little bit there and try and time things out a little bit, but yeah. We could do that at the end just to try and crank. It's gonna depend. If we get past six minutes, which we, should, we will, this could be. Can we get to eight? Like, if, it, like if I got 30 seconds and no one's anywhere near me, then I'll wait and let them give them some time. Not only so that they can finish, because but everybody gets more money, you know. Get everybody some more cash. Whee! Look at them flying through the air. I mean, this is going to be an interesting week, I guess. There's 25% bonus cash on import-export vehicles. Probably everybody's gonna be doing that. It's whatever. If you want to do something in GTA, you have to wait till it's double money because that's what everybody. If you want to participate with people, that's what you gotta do because that's what they're gonna be doing. Whatever is the double catch because everybody's everybody's thinking, what's the next DLC? Well, I need fifty million dollars. I'm down from twenty million. I've got I just got my yacht. Probably gonna get at least one more dune for. For Rusty Jack. Good old Rusty Jack. He's such a rusty old fella. But I'd like to I'd like to start going back and just doing racing really for the most part. I'm not sure. It's still the odds, obviously, you know, I'm still running my bunker right now, so there will be CEO kind of things that go on. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some import export. I don't know. It's gonna have to be if I'm in the mood. Okay, how far behind is everybody? Oh, 
I want to win, but I'm not going to punch until I see a car jump over that loop. Or it gets to eight minutes. I'm going to over the loop. Over the, come on. Once I see something go wee up in the air here. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're not really gaining any money here. Because you really need to get to eight. No, they weren't going to give us that much time. But at least it bought everybody a little bit of time so they can maybe not DNF. The guy is in the bushes. They're going to DNF, but... That's a good looking car, but it's not the most effective race car. I'll tell you that right now. I think, you know, the handling's okay, but they should have given it a little bit more power to compensate for the fact that it's a slippy slidey boy. And eight grand. Boogity boogity. And on that note, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll stop this video here. We'll pick this up in the next one. You know, I don't want to give you like, oh, here's another three-hour video from the Black Knight all the time. Let's, uh, let's try and, you know, bite sizes, bite sizes. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.